everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing great this morning now we'll be taking a look at what is happening across the atlantic basin as it relates to that frontal system which extends into the caribbean so at a wide view we're seeing a lot of convection out there right now just this mess across the north atlantic and there are some thunderstorms noted within the vicinity of Venezuela and even Colombia as well in the Eastern Caribbean. So let's zoom in here. And this frontal system moving through has already induced uh, a lot of dangerous impacts and has done quite a bit of damage along coastal areas of Jamaica and even the Cayman Islands. So that was the story for yesterday. Those waves were very enormous and very rough out there. And uh, now the system is making its way further east. There's been some heavy rain in Puerto Rico with some uh, tropical storm force wind gusts. So there were some strong thunderstorms moving through and they also did quite a number in some areas. In Espanol, ha habido algunas tormentas fuertes que han estado vientos con fuerza de tormenta tropical y fuertes lluvias. Mientras hablo, Todavía hay algo de lluvia en partes de Puerto Rico y las Islas Vírgenes y habrá posibilidades de que llueva aún más intensamente hasta hoy. Sin embargo, a medida que pase toda la actividad asociada al frente frío, mañana habrá un clima más fresco. Now let's take a look at the forecast as we're going to be heading into tomorrow and even into Friday. So this is what GFS is showing. We can see all of these green shadings and even some yellows and oranges. So all this moisture over in the Eastern Caribbean as the front makes its way out. And eventually as we head to tomorrow evening, there is still seeing a lot of that moisture within the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles, particularly the Leeward Islands. And then as we head toward Friday, we're going to see things kind of slowly returning back to normal. Still some residual rainfall activity uh, possible uh, for the Lesser Antilles as the front makes its way out. But with all the rain expected through today and even into tomorrow as well, there could be some instances of additional flooding. So let's look at what the Euro model is showing. And this is a forecast through the rest of today and even into tomorrow morning. And here we're seeing some of these burgundy, purple, and pink shadings popping up across sections of the northeastern Caribbean. So there could be up to two and a half or three inches of rainfall activity in parts of uh, the Virgin Islands, maybe even near the Leeward Islands, such as Anguilla and even St. Martin, St. Bartholomew. There could be some heavy rainfall. And so uh, even other areas, the ABC Islands, Colombia, Venezuela may also experience some periods of heavy rain. That is already happening because as I showed you guys, there's uh, some convection within the area. Some showers are also possible within the Windward Islands as well as Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. And over towards southern Central America, the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, Panama, there may be some instances of heavy rain. But as we head to other areas, most of Hispaniola and even towards Cuba, Jamaica, over into parts of Central America near Honduras and the Bay Islands right there, there may not be much rainfall activity, but there could be additional showers. Much is not really expected for the Cayman Islands, similar story for San Andreas and Providencia. As we head into the vicinity of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, some islands may experience some heavy rain at times, so that is certainly a possibility as we head throughout today. Now we're going on to the wind forecast and here we can see all of these purple and these blue shadings across the region. So it's going to remain windy for the most part across much of the Caribbean islands. And so uh, some of the wind speeds could be over 20 miles per hour with stronger gusts up to 25, maybe even 30 miles per hour across most of the islands, parts of the Greater Antilles, offshore Central America, and even within the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles, and especially up to the Bahamas. So within the Bahamas, there could be uh, wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour as we head through today. And with that, those waves are going to be very enormous as well. I mean, those seas up to 20 feet offshore the Bahamas. So uh, it is still very rough out there within those areas of those strongest winds. But across the Caribbean, the wave height for the most part is decreasing up to eight feet or so within the vicinity of western Jamaica, even for the Cayman Islands and uh, near Central America. But elsewhere across the region, those wave heights are much lower than that for now. But things are going to be kicking up for the northeastern Caribbean, especially along the Atlantic coast 
of the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and even towards the northerly Leeward Islands. Now with this frontal system passing, cooler temperatures have been setting into the Caribbean. So let's look at the forecast. And this is as we're going to be heading into tomorrow. And here we are seeing all of these blue shadings, which are indicative of below average temperatures. So temperatures could be a couple degrees Celsius lower than what is usual. So very cool nights and even cool and windy throughout the day. So across much of the Caribbean, the Greater Antilles, Jamaica, Cuba, uh, Hispaniola, even going toward Puerto Rico and parts of the Lesser Antilles as well. Those cooler temperatures are going to be setting in. And then as we head to Friday, we can see that more of the Lesser Antilles are expected to be experiencing those cooler than normal temperatures. So this cool down is likely to persist as we head throughout much of the week, guys. So it is certainly time to get those sweaters ready because it is going to be quite chilly. Now looking at the Saharan earlier forecast. So the Saharan dust has infiltrated the eastern part of the Caribbean and parts of South America. And there is still a whole lot of dust across the Atlantic as we're seeing. And those areas of darker brown indicate a higher concentration of that dust. So this is a forecast as we're going to be heading into tomorrow morning. We can see all that dust out there wanting to come in but because of the cold front it cannot just enter the region so easily but it will still likely be blanketing parts of the lesser antilles and south america especially in the vicinity of the guyanas then as we head towards friday we can see that some more of it is trying to push in still blanketing much of the lesser antilles from around guadalupe through trinidad tobago and parts of northeastern south america and then there's a lot more of that dust that higher concentration of dust as we head further east out into the atlantic so this is going to be another story let's see what happens as we're going to be heading into this weekend and uh, early next week but of course i'm here to keep you guys posted on all that is happening and so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update again that cold front is still within the vicinity of the caribbean it is not over yet it has done some damage and may do more even more damage because there is that flood threat for parts of the northeastern islands of the caribbean for today and uh, those strong winds are still going to be across the Caribbean, not as strong compared to yesterday and even on Monday. Uh, but those winds are going to still be kicking up. Those waves still going to be unsettled out there, not very ideal for many marine activities. And uh, things are even more unsettled and unsafe offshore the southeastern U.S. and in the vicinity of Bermuda. That is what I wanted to share with you guys in this update video. And I really do hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.